Hey everyone, politics is often about the unexpected, just as any politicians from 15th century Spain where no one expects the Spanish Inquisition. What do you call an unexpected gardening tool? non secretors Well, talking of unexpected, it seems that this was one of those weeks where the news was caught completely off guard by the sudden and shocking murder of South End politician, and from what I can tell, all around good bloke David Amos had even started writing another script about the supply chain, you know, the failure by politicians on either side to do anything about it or be seen. PM just got back from a holiday, and frankly, I've seen more strategic and constructive advice come out of the mouth of an astrologer like Mystic Meg than I have from anyone in Westminster the last few weeks. I can almost imagine Grant Shapp saying that he will reduce fuel duty eventually, but only when Jupiter is in control junction with Mars, or possibly William Shatner. Perhaps the MOD is on the fence about Taiwan because the Daily Star's phone and astrology line told Ben Wallace to be careful about matters concerning a friend. All of a sudden, no things change and the news media is clamouring for statements about the tragic events in South End, and suddenly politicians are flooding onto the news to say something, you know, say something reassuring and condemn the attack, albeit without beginning to address the possible underlying causes or the shift in society, especially in seaside towns. Your knife culture is far more out of control than the news dare let on. Just whilst I was looking this up, a 16-year-old was killed in Twickenham on Friday night, and in many places, drugs are everywhere and stabbings are an almost daily occurrence. It's grimly reminiscent to anyone who lived in the 1980s, I guess, also an era when British politicians were being attacked and regularly sent death threats. You know, David Amos, when he was younger, actually worked for Michael Bertillo, who only even became an MP in 1984 because his predecessor, Anthony Berry, was killed by the IRA in the Brighton bombing, also next to the sea. All a bit depressing, really. Anything else in the news then? Well, the Saudis now own Newcastle United. Presumably, the new management are planning some harsh new rules about if anyone gets caught handball. You know, football players don't need their hands anyway, do they? And spare a thought for the poor Saudi prince who thought he was buying a new castle, you know, like with turrets and maybe a bit like Versailles or something like that. Anything else? Well, as I said, William Shatner went into space this weekend. To be honest, I've seen Star Trek enough to know that he promised us a five year mission at the start of that show, and he was all up there for about 10 minutes. Lazy, if you ask me. Anyway, see you next week. Like these, please subscribe.